Welcome back to Firefighter Caffarata. We're in my kitchen right now and we are going to make um, a delicious rib meal. This is kind of it's gonna be quick and easy. You go to your local butcher shop or Safeway or whatever Lucky's or whatever you have in your, your area. You could ask your butcher good ribs and use the ribs that you want to use. I ended up using um, Swift premium ribs, you know, just kind of like stuff from a local market we have, Safeway. And uh, a different one, which is, they're both pork loin baby back ribs and they're very meaty. So you want meaty ribs. Now, we're gonna be off for the day, we're gonna be gone, but I'm gonna put this in my crock pot so I can actually leave and it's safe. My crock pot right here, right? And uh, so I'm gonna let this kind of just cook down basically and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, before I did that, I wanted to sweeten my wife up because we just had a little baby, so I got her some, some flowers over here. So I wanted to be nice and romantic. Didn't really have a vase, so I used a water pitcher. But let me get to work here. So we have these ribs, these ribs, about three, three and a half pounds each. Uh, you could chop it, we're gonna chop it, put it in the crock pot. Uh, basically, to break it down a little bit, not to get it all mushy and, and like the meat's everywhere, you just wanna break it down so it will be nice and uh, ready to put in the oven. Cause we're gonna continue this once this is cooked down in four to six hours. So here, this, I'm gonna use just an IPA, right? It's gonna break down the meat a little bit. I'm gonna use some, there we go. Little tomatoes right here, right? So the acidity, do a dry rub. And you could do a dry rub of just, uh, you could do salt, pepper, and you could do like, uh, you could do cayenne pepper. You could do all these type of things, but or you could buy like a barbecue rub. I did uh, this one, Stubbs, it's pretty good. There we go, if you could see that there. So let's get to work. So I'm just gonna open this package up. Now my knives I have are not the best knives, but they work. Ribs. My little guy, he loves ribs. So, my little guy right here, Aiden, here you go. Step back, they'll see you. I'm gonna pour the juice in the garbage here. Oh, that's a lot of juice. Okay, and let's get the ribs on the chopping block. So I'm gonna put the ribs on the chopping block. So ribs here. That's so this nice. is, no, 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 that's just juice. A jus. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna just cut it in half, like so, right? Doesn't even matter. It just what you're doing is you're you're making it easier, right? So I'm gonna put one half right in the pot, like this. Another one right in the pot. I'll do the dry rub in the pot, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna cut up the next pack. Next pack looks juicy, also, which it's good. It's not a bad thing as long as they don't, you know, smell horribly. You're fine. But yeah, go to your local market. Pick out some ribs that you like, ask your butcher, and they'll be able to help you out. A lot of times they have a good insight on specifically what's what cooks the best, what tastes the best. Um, but baby back ribs, pork, yep, they are delicious. So put this right in the garbage here. Again, this is the second pack. We're going to do two packs. I have some water in my hair. So I just want to look nice and fresh for you guys. So. So I'm cutting this next one up right here, again, in halves, right? So it fits in the crock pot. Then, yeah, and then I'm gonna do a dry season rub. And there you go. So let me, let me wash my hands really quick. I don't wanna have, I don't wanna have uh, rib hands, rib meat hands. Okay, so just like so. Okay, let's do this. So the dry rub, right, you think, oh man, you do it just right. No, you don't. What you do is you just get this dry rub, whatever one you want to use. You can buy it at your market, right? Kind of start sprinkling it on the meat. And you want to be generous. You want to be generous. And what I mean by that, let me show you. So what I mean is you're going to get it on the meat. You're going to rub it all around. Yeah, I'm going to show you. You're right. And yeah, yeah. And you just kind of you kind of make it where it's covering the meat. And it's called, this is a dry rub, right? Because it's basically like a dry seasoning. A wet would be, you bake it all day long. And we're gonna do a little bit of both. That's the thing that's gonna make this pretty special. Yep. So this dry rub, put it on all four ones I cut up. Last but not 
least I got the last one here. So, dry rub all around so it's nice and well seasoned. Right? But I'll show you what I mean. So, the dry rub. So, you can see right here, let's get a little closer. Whoa! Okay, so we got that going. So, this is in the crock pot. This is going to basically sit here four hours. You can do four, you can do six. <clears throat> I might just do four hours, okay? And so now I'm going to pour in my tomato sauce. This is not even a sauce, it's it's petite diced tomatoes. So I'm going to pour it in. This is going to be that city that's going to break down the meat. The beer, same. It's going to break down the meat. I didn't know I could drink beer. Oh, you're not going to drink it. You're going to eat it. So this beer is basically going to be in here. And it's going to cook down this meat until it's, it's going to absorb all of this. But it's also going to make it so it breaks down easier. So when it's cooking and you have it after those four hours, I'm going to put it back in the oven. And you put it in the oven, and then that's where you can sear it. You can make it kind of crispy on the outside, and it tastes really good. So basically, that's it. I'm going to put it back in the crock pot right now. You're going to see, and I'll put the timer on. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So... Go ahead and again wash my hands because we don't have to touch the meat anymore. It's all done. And the magic now is going to be everything done in the crock pot. So the crock pot is going to do all the, the rest of the work for, uh, for hours at a time. So here it is right here, right? Two slaps. And uh, put the top on. We're going to do that right here. So top goes on. Yep, yep. So there's no, no soap on, on top of my top here. That'd be bad. I don't want to be cooking soap for my family. You don't, don't want to do that. So anyway, so this goes on like this. I'm going to show you what I mean. And I'm going to set it right here, if you can see that. So I'm going to go on, right? We're going to go slow cook. It says four hours, right? You can do four or six hours, whatever you want. Let's go ahead. Let's just do six hours. So we're going to go up. We're going to do six hours. We're going to start the timer. Start. And timer is started. Set it. Forget it. It's going to work great. Now, when those six hours are up, I'll be back home, maybe. You can let it sit there afterwards. doesn't matter. And we're going to put it, we're going to take it, put it on a pan, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, it's been six hours. Now, here's the crock pot. I went ahead, beat you to the punch, and took the ribs out of the crock pot and slathered them with a little bit of, I'll show you right here, some seasoning, some sauce. You can buy the sauce from the store after you take it out of the crock pot. This was six hours. We did six hours. It's a lot of hours, but these also look amazing. So I slathered a little bit of this guy on there. You could use up, up, any type you'd like, okay? You kind of put it on, rub it on, pop it in the oven, put it at 350. You could even do 400. Leave it on for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes until the, uh, the sauce is all kind of like a little crusted on dry. Now, once it's all done, your ribs are gonna be done. I'm gonna plate it, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, beforehand, I'm gonna pop some bubbly right here like this, boop. For my wife and myself, uh, my wife could have un poquito, and I'm going to have a little bit myself. And I'm going to make a delicious, quick vegetable uh, medley here, so you get a little bit of salad, okay? These are freshly uh, done, pre-made at the store, very easy, but for a quick meal, you come home for a long day, you have the crock pot all done, everything's done, this is fast, easy, delicious, boom, I'm going to pop this in here, so I don't think you need directions with this right here, but... Uh, I'm gonna open this guy up. A little bit of sauce right here. All right? My little guy's allergic to nuts. So he's allergic to me. I just plop this in, just like so. Maybe two bags. Two bags are better than one, and my wife's almost like a rabbit. Yeah, I know she likes during pregnancy, she liked her uh, her meat dishes, hamburgers and different foods. Like Vietnamese food. But, but, see, she really likes her vegetables. So I give her that. 
So let me put the next bag right in here. All this is is pretty much a healthy, yep, hill pool slot. I'm gonna plop it in. Boom, plopping it in. Nice and healthy. So it comes with a sauce. We put the sauce right on it. We're gonna plate these ribs. Once I plate these ribs, now I told you about the ribs in the crock pot. We said four hours, I believe. You can do four to six hours. I did six hours because I knew it was gonna be a long day gone. So, but they came out perfect. And right now I'm putting the seasoning, the dressing on the coleslaw. Just a little bit right there. It's like a yogurt dressing. So it's on the healthier side. Because we are, even though we're having ribs, we're still about health. This family, we want to keep it real, right? We want to keep it good. We want to have it live a long, nice, healthy life. So it's all about eating right, eating good foods. I'm going to pop the seeds right in there. This is easy. I'm going to show you the outcome and plate the food. And once that's all finished, you're going to see the final, final of amazingness. Ribs, kale, a little bit of salad right there, and we're all done. I'm going to pop this. Yeah! Oh, I love it. Here we go. So I'm going to get a little champagne right here for the wife. A little bit for myself. I weigh more. And we put it down right here. Meal is ready. I got my little guy right here. Bam, Aiden. And we got the ribs. Ribs with a coleslaw salad. And it tastes absolutely delicious. Check us out. Join Firefighter Cafe right next time. Fire safety tips and cooking with me at my house with my little guy Aiden. I'll see you soon.